Hello, it's Richard from OnSite Solutions. In this training module, we're going to be looking at commission, commissioning a JACE. So to do that, we need to get the, uh, the station into my file system. So at the moment, this station here in my local host, uh, JSO1, I don't have it in my, uh, in my file system. So, uh, what I need to do is make sure I get it into there. Once it's in there, I can then commission in, commission the JACE, uh, using that station. So to do that, uh, it, even before I do that, actually, I'm going to do a backup. And if I do a backup, it will put it in this backups folder. So right click on station, do backup station. It would uh, date stamp it and time stamp it as well. Um, and then it will just, uh, once it's done, it will put it into this uh, backups folder in my file system. Um, and then to do a station copy, I need to go to my platform, uh, station copier. And do a copy there. So make sure you copy it from your local host back to your file system. So there's not a great deal on this station, so it won't take too long. So I can rename it now if I want to. Um, I'm not going to bother, but if you wanted to put a, a timestamp or, or, or just for housekeeping, uh, give it another name, you can. So uh, it's asking me if I want to uh, copy the files only or um, copy the files uh, and the bog file or just the bog file. I'm going to do everything. It doesn't really hurt to do everything. Um, if you don't have any files, it just won't be able to copy them. Okay, so that's it done. So now in my station, I've now got my JSE uh, copy here. So um, if I go to my, if I want to stop that from running in my application director now, I can go to my local host. Um, you can see it's still running, so I can stop that from running now. Let's click on stop. Okay, so it's stopped in my local host. Host. So now I need to um, make a connection to my um, my actual JS controller now which is going to be a remote host. So go to files, open, open platform. There won't be a station on this, on my JACE yet. So you have to open the platform first, or you can use control shift and P here. Uh, so I need to put the IP address in. And you can make either a secure connection or a, a not secure connection on your platform. So you you should see it now pop up here in my nav sidebar with the IP address. Uh, and then it's going to ask me for the credentials. Um, so it's going to be the default credentials, which is Tridium Niagara. Click on OK. And since I think it was N4.6, um, it will now come up. It will recognize those credentials are factory default. And it would ask me to change them before I can even get to the commissioning um, stage here. So it's going to tell me I need to uh, change the passphrase, um, create a new platform account, and remove the default platform account. So this is even before um, we get to the commissioning wizard now. So uh, the, the, you have to enter a passphrase. It has to be uh, 10 uh, characters long and have to have... Uh, I believe it needs to have capitals, one at least one capital, at least one numeric value. And now the platform password I need to change. So um, I'll just call this Trillium1. Check that your password matches. Okay, so it's telling me a summary there of what's going to happen. So it's going to be removing the Trillium, the default account. And it's going to be adding the, uh, my new one here. So click finish. So that, that's before I even get to the commissioning wizard. So like, I think it was N4.6 that, that changed. This, this bit's uh, been added. Used to be part of the commissioning wizard before. Okay, so this is now, um, if you look in your, at your ORD, I'm now on my remote host, which is my JACE controller. And this is the platform uh, options now in my um, remote host. 
So I just need to commission it. So I can just right click on platform in my nav side tree um, and go to commissioning wizard. So what's going to happen this wizard is going to take me through some steps. I, I could have done them manually here. Uh, it doesn't go through all the steps, but uh, uh, a lot, a lot of them it does go through. So here we go. So um, the grayed out boxes, obviously I can't uh, select those, so they have to go through um, this this uh, step. Um, so this is where I can select uh, whether or not I'm going to install the station. This is where I can select if I want to put change, uh, add any lexicons, which are additional languages. Um, I have to install and upgrade modules, and I have to install and upgrade the core software. I can sync it with my uh, local host. Well, sorry, with my local date and time. I can configure my TCP IP address. Um, I could set up, change my uh, passphrase, uh, which I've already done, so I don't need to select that. And I could, I can, uh, with N4, you can add additional platform users, where AX, you can do that. So it's a new feature with N4. So I say next. Um, okay, so saying that my license at the moment is uh, is uh, up to 4.6, um, so I'm I'm actually using M4.7, so I need to go to my licensing server, which I can do, and install it up, uh, change it to the 4.7. So I'm going to do that. Um, here it's asking me for my runtime profiles for my HTML5, JavaScript, CSS. And also my workbench. So uh, when you tick one of these boxes, it automatically ticks the other one anyway. Uh, so this is where I can now select the station. I've only got one on my list. And, and this is now asking me if I want to start it after it's installed and also if I want it to auto start. So, um, when I've done it, my local host, I unselected auto start, but now I, I, uh, it's in the JACE. Uh, so I do want it to automatically start every time there's a power down or it restarts for any other reason. Uh, so this is the opposite again to what I just done re just uh, when I was doing the station copy the other way. Um, so I do want to I, I select this middle one even though I don't have any files on there. It's not going to matter. So the next part of this commissioning will be um, building. The, so it's rebuilding the software list. It's analysing my uh, station and working out what jar files I need to add. Um, so when it comes up with this uh, this box, it's saying that it's going to install required platform module on for, uh, Trillium 4.7. So this is my available version. This is what's installed at the moment. Nothing. So the, all these ones which have been ticked or cro put crosses in the boxes are going to be installed. So if there's anything else you need to add, um, I, I click on software here and it arranges this list alphabetically. Um, so things like I'm going to be adding BACnet, so I, I can select BACnet from the list. Um, uh, I'm going to be adding, adding a dashboard as well. So I select dashboard. If you're intending on doing any kind of... Uh, export into email or anything you might want to select email from the list so you can go through this and basically cherry pick anything you want to add as well as what it needs or the dependencies that it needs anyway then you click next so you can go back and add these uh, afterwards if you've missed anything it's not the end of the world So it's just going on to the next part of the wizard now. So it's telling me um, the core software, which is what, what it's going to load. And this is where you can change the IP address and the gate. This is the gateway. Um, and then your interfaces are down the bottom here. So you can set your addresses up. You do have to be careful. You don't put, um, if you set interface two up as well, you must make sure you don't put it on the same segment, network segment as the first one. So I don't need to change anything in mine. So now I can add a new user if I want. OK, 
Okay, so I've got two um, users now. You can have as many as you want here, which, uh, which is um, because uh, the height and security now if, um, uh, is to change the defaults. It's a good idea to have more than one uh, user in case you you know you forget the first one, or you don't want to give someone that first one, but the, the site's been handed over to someone else, and you have to give them a platform user or platform credentials. It's a good idea to have a, like your company one, and then like a site one you can give give it to someone else okay so this is a summary now of what everything is going to do um, so it's going to load all these jar files um, it's not going to change any tcip settings it's going to add another uh, platform user um, and it's going to update the license and it's going to put, be putting this uh, um, station on it as well so it's always a good idea to go and check this, especially your TCP IP settings. Just make sure you haven't um, had fat fingers and clicked on a, a di an extra digit or something, and then you won't be able to get into your, you won't know the IP address, and uh, that can be a bit of a problem. So good idea to go and check this part, and then click on Finish. So this whole process now will take um, probably three or four minutes. So I'll, I'll just stop this video uh, here. But... Um, after it's done this, the station, your station, the next thing you would do is go to your platform application director. Um, and then once that becomes available and then go and see what your station's doing, you have to go and check to see your station's running before you can open the, uh, open the station. Okay. So that's the end of this video. So, uh, please go and visit our website where you can, uh, go and look at different product solutions we have, as well as, uh, some classroom training that we can offer. Uh, you can visit our support portal and do some, uh, and that's where you can go, go to do some downloads as well as uh, looking at what other engineering solutions we can offer. Okay. So if you're enjoying these videos, please go and subscribe and click on the like at the bottom and I'll see you next time.